Hey everybody, this is Putty. We're back with more uh, Wildstar. Today, I have my other character that I've played a lot. I have I have three, char four characters that I play. Well, one I don't play, but anyway, that's not here. Anyway, this is my warrior. Um, she is level 32, as you can see. And first off, right away in this episode, I'm gonna show go ahead and show housing off a little bit. Um, let's see, my warrior. She's She's fairly well tanky. I have a little bit of tanky gear, too. Uh, I have a lot of just random things. These are really low-level gear, though, so I really shouldn't use this stuff for tanking, especially, like, these boots. I was trying to get higher-level gear that's tanky, but I couldn't. Oh, yeah, I should mention this with stats. Once you meet a certain threshold, like here you can see, like, you need to get 75, and you get a bonus to the stat. Um, this, then you need 120, then you need... Um, 240, and then you need, let's see, 300, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And then you apparently need uh, 375, and then 450, 525, and then 600. You keep getting bonus stats for every thrush you hold you meet. I didn't mention that last time. Oh wow, I didn't know. I said don't have an argument slot. It's interesting. I do have a gadget though, which gadgets are essentially like trinkets in other games where. Has a quick little use, and that takes up the number nine slot. Um, this character is what is? It? I think this character is like yeah, explorer. Okay, so I have this one on. This ability lets me put down this little beacon that I can like run over here, activate it, and it teleports me back. Okay, so some stuff about my house. Um, let's see, landscape. First off, I have a house here. It's just a normal house for humans, or it's just a normal, um, what is it called, um, it's not an Orin or a cast house, I don't know, I think it's just like a, yeah, it's a cozy exile house, there, there it is right there, I'm stupid. Um, then I have a moonshiner cabin, I have a, this thing, which apparently I need to repair to do the challenge, so I guess I'm going to pay that, because I want to show that off. I want to show this off, and then there's these two things that I, I don't care about. Okay, so there's some challenges in here. I'll show those in a minute. First off, I'm going to go in my house. It's ugly, but it works for what I want it to do. Um, I have a lot of lighting and stuff in here because each uh, thing that you have... Oh, wow, I didn't know you could clip stuff to it. Anyway, each thing you put in here... Well, let me bring this up. Room. Uh... I don't want to buy stuff. I want to look at my things. Apparently, I can't look at my place things. Each of these things... Whoa. That's a weird bug. Where it's a black icon. Um, let's just go ahead and send one of these things to a crate. They have these little icons. These mean they give you rest XP when you're in your house. And let's also show how you put it down. I'm going to do a really bad job of this. But let's see. Where did it put it? put it right there on the freaking floor. Eh. Let me, let me move you. I want to move you. Okay. There you go. So now that I have that down, I, I can go over there. There's, there's multiple different categories. The more things you have in one category, the more it stacks up. Like, I have a large of amines, which is for my lights, I think. I have a little bit of pride, a little bit of aroma, because food, I don't, I don't understand it. But I, I have a little bit of everything. I have a little bit of comfort. Like, I have a bed. I have a crappy couch. I have... A little plushies around the room. Um, but yeah. Oh wow, I didn't even notice I had two of those. Anyway, that's my little house. I, it's not the best house explanation. Like, you can change your run up map. You can, like, I, I just have default everything. Like, you can change the walls to other things. Like, make them all kinds of things. I don't particularly want to do it because it just doesn't interest me much. Like, I just, I don't know. It doesn't really change anything, so. I mean, yeah, you can make it look pretty, but it doesn't give you any extra bonuses, so I, I haven't really bothered with it. Eventually, I probably will mess with it when it's actually live, since it's still beta, and I should have a timer going, and I don't, so I guess I'm just going to wing this episode and just do the next one. Anyway, that's my house, and now there. this was a little mining thing. It spawned some... Um, 
or no or mineral nodes. This is my cooking thing. I could still cook at it even though it's like needs repairs, which is good. Uh, I think I can. Can I? Cooking. Yes. Uh, maybe. Cooking. Can I? Can I cook? They change us uh, all of this, so I'm trying to see if I have any. Nope, I apparently can't. Oh, oh, wait, wait. This is different. Okay. Uh, anyway, I I'll show that off later when I actually figure that out. Um. Anyway, this is going to be a little challenge. You start jump on here and it challenge starts up. Begins. So you want to jump on 20 of these and then. It says 27, but you need 20. I don't understand why it says 27 when it doesn't load anymore after 20. So you just jump and jump and jump and jump and jump. I'm sure that most people that have videos of their house, they have this thing and they've shown it off. As you can see, that this activates. I get the juice. And I forgot to get it from the bucket. And then I go over here. And then there's three things over here. You have the hold and press or F, and then there's this one, which you have to put in the right thing. Oh yeah, this isn't mass press. Come on. And what this gives me, it gives me a couple options. I can get a little bit of renown, I can get another beer sign, and get a bed. I haven't gotten the bed, I kind of want the bed still. That's what I'm going to work on. Um... Let's see. It's gonna give me renown. Okay, whatever. I can I can always use renown, whatever. Oh yeah, you can also drink some of the alcohol you just made. As the pop up just said. So here it is over here. Drink in the moon, John. Disoriented. Okay. Now this is when I'm hitting forward. This is when I'm hitting back. This is when I'm hitting left. This is when I'm hitting right. So it disorient is a CC, it fucks up your controls. Oh yeah, this this is a thing from my um, my human starting area. These crystal things are like really trippy. They make you jump really high. Anyway, this thing I'm gonna show off next. I gotta feed the pigs. Oops, I fucked it up. There we go. Now I jump on this big pig and he bounces me up in the air and I just start bouncing these. My goal is to line on 25 of them. If I can do that, I get the bone or reward. It doesn't give me any XP, I don't think. I think it maybe gives me like one XP. There's also a golden pick up there, which I'm gonna try to get to. Can I get it? Can I get it? Oh yes I did. Hooray! And now I'm going to land on the ground. Ah, uh, whatever. I got the golden pig, that's all that matters. Golden Pig doesn't give you any extra points, by the way. It's just there for aesthetic reason, which is really neat. I think I'm pretty good at this. I'm not the best in the world or anything. I'm not going to set any world records or anything. But I think I'm pretty good. I'm going to bounce down this one way down there. It's really interesting that you bounce so damn high. Eh. Oh, God, a lag. Oh, God! Okay, uh, that, that just shows all my characters. Whatever. Uh... Well, I wasn't expecting that. There goes my challenge. That happens sometimes. It's beta. I mean, you can't really hold it to a fault about that. But, there was my character screen. I'll probably try to edit it out if I can remember to. I probably won't. I, don't, I just don't give a shit. But yeah, I have two other characters. One is an Esper, which I named Playful because play er, it's a Orin. And they all right already have like a playful personality. And on top of that, it's an Esper, which Esper's heals, which I'm gonna make an Esper healer, are like party things. So it's like I don't know. That was my thoughts on it. I that was late at night. And I was like, I'm gonna name it that. So yeah, you, there you go. I don't know why I get the road march bonus when I'm on that girl. That's weird. Anyway. You saw this thing, it doesn't really give anything special. I just know so pigs have the thing right on their freaking face. Oh my god. Anyway, let's go ahead and show this one off now. What is this? Talk to the pushy, okay. Challenge begins. This one is a little bit difficult, depending on how you jump. 
I, I was letting my nephew try to play some. God damn, that camera is really buggy all of a sudden. These jumps don't see, feel that high. Uh, I want to get on that moving one next, so. I'm probably going to miss my chance by doing that. Eh. Okay, I got on it. Now, I just want to get on any of these ones up here. Eh, okay. Now I just want to get up on this one. And I just got to get the other side over here. Challenge, Challenge complete. complete. Okay. So this one has a couple of different things. This is where I got some of the plushies that I have. What is this? I don't want those. I want this. Because I don't have that. So let's just dive to the bottom. And I don't want to go too far off. Otherwise I will die. That would be embarrassing to die in my own house. Okay, I got the tree. I don't know exactly where you use the tree, but I just added it to my housing crate. So let's see, is it an outside thing? I think it is, but you can place it inside your house. Okay. I also want to do one more thing in my house before I actually leave, since I haven't left all fucking episode. What level is the spacious one? It is level 36. So my goal eventually with this character is get to level 36 so I can show that off, because I haven't seen it. I am kind of curious about it. Um, I... There's, there was a thing in beta where you had to get level 32 to be guaranteed the next um, beta thing. And with my moving, I kind of just rushed this character to 32. And then I never really, like, continued it. But, yeah. Uh, let's just go outside. I'm going to get the, this thing, even though it's probably going to get wasted. Because it'll disappear right when I teleport out. It's commonly what happens, sometimes I get to reap the benefit of it for a little while before a crash or something, but... Anyway, as you can see, this says off-world instead of whatever it said with my stalker. That is because I'm technically off-world right now. And you will see more in a second when it's done loading. I will actually talk about it. Let's see. Oh my god, I got to keep the buff for once! Okay, so right now I'm in Biodome 4. Yes, there is a. When you start questing higher and higher, and I feel a sneeze coming on, but I'll just suppress it. If not, you'll hear my really weird sound. Anyway, there is biodomes that you go to eventually for your questing, like level 31 or 29 or something like that. Somewhere in that range, and then you come to the biodomes. Um. I've already done one of the full biodomes. The other one was like more tree-like, but this one is more like desert and bio, or um, barren-like. So, um, I think this is a reference to the movie called Biodome. I, that's just my rough guess. I'm bad at those things, but oh yeah, this is the caretaker. Uh, in the Oren zone, you actually free him. But in the human zone, you don't. He just magically appears once you get to the second zone and beyond. So, eventually I am going to level an Oren so you guys get to see the Oren. And eventually I'll probably level a human again to show off the first two zones of them. I'm, I know that people that had press releases already showed those off. But I want to show those off. Hello. Okay, there's a rogue character. No, whatever. Anyway, let's see. Where do I have for quests? I have a quest over there, so I should go ahead and go do those. Um, I'm gonna do that. Uh, hoverboards, you get a level 10 in beta. In live, they're supposed to be like level 22 or 24 or 25. Something like that. But in beta, you get it earlier because it's just a pain to move around without a hoverboard. I think you can get ground mounts earlier than that. Oh yeah, there's this bar here at static charge. This area is like statically electrocated or something so once it gets to once it fills up all the way you will start taking continuous damage which it's really low damage it's like 20 30 damage a tick but it's continuous so your shields cannot regenerate which makes it a little bit of a pain in the ass so let's see I have quests over here and I see all kinds of markers I don't know how I didn't do this and let's see Uh, do I just cut away? Do I cut this? Uh, 
Okay, I guess that is what I need to cut. That makes sense that I didn't see it then. That's interesting. I have venom in my veins right now. That's always helpful. Prickly cacti and something. And oh god, I'm gonna aggro things. I don't want to aggro these old shits. But I've already dealt with them. Oh boy, static charges over here too. Oh, it's just those crystals. Okay. That's interesting. I didn't notice that the first time I did this. Prickly cactus. Can I stun it? I wonder. Do, do, do. Eh, my nose is so dry. So I'm sorry if I sniffle some, but that's why. And I really, in between episodes, I'm going to have to go get a tissue and get rid of my freaking dried boogers. Okay. Let's see. Almost done with those, and then I'll have to go get the other thing, which I don't, I don't even know what the fuck they look like. What the hell? Okay, apparently that one just doesn't have anything. That is actually an enemy right there. It looks like a rune thing, which there's randomly runes around that you just discover, and it gives either items or... Well, there's discovery right there. I can just show it. Uh, sometimes they pop up little buff station things. Sometimes they give you loot. This gives me loot. So, there you go. I, I mean, that couldn't have worked any better. That was a great katana. I wonder what it looks like. I'm going to equip it. What's it look like? It looks like the same damn weapon I had. So, it's not even a katana. They lied to me. Okay. So, that's the tree. This is a Valo, Valo era. A Lara. I don't know. There we go. Let's... Holy shit, I got a lot of that in one go. Oh yeah, I can kill you. Or not. Okay. Let's kill this. Kill it! Kill it with the fire! No, not really. So there's a settler thing, or uh, explorer thing over here too. Let's see, follow the missing explorer. Oh, what is this? What is that? Sinkhole. I want to go talk to the sinkhole. It looks fun. I'm not. I for some reason this is gonna collapse. Yeah, I saw that coming a mile away. Okay, so I have to finish that quest, and I'm also gonna investigate this area next time. But for now, I'm gonna end this episode off. If you like this episode or any others, go ahead and leave a like, comment, all the good stuff. I greatly appreciate it and it helped me grow. So there's a quest down here. I will do that next time and I'll start up here. Anyway, this party, I will see you guys next time. Bye.